A beer maker, Pabst, has been sold for roughly $250 million. The seller is a charitable trust, and the buyer, private equity player Dean Metropolis. John Ehrlichman got an exclusive interview with him, and he joins us now with more. John? Scarlett, in the last 25 years, Dean Metropolis has bought and sold nearly 70 businesses, a lot of them consumer companies with brands like Bumblebee Tuna and Chef Boyardee. This time, it's Pabst, a popular alternative to the big beer brands. Pabst, one of the few independent brewers left in the U.S., also home to names like Old Milwaukee and Coal 45. And instead of buying this business on behalf of private equity investors, he's buying with his sons, Darren and Evan, hoping to breathe new life into the brands. In many of my transactions, my two sons, Evan and Darren, have been important players. They have often provided the out-of-the-box thinking and the a different approach to, to positioning these brands that often had gotten very tired. When you were looking around for a business to run with your sons, this wasn't the only one you looked at, right? You looked at the Wilhelmina Modeling Agency was one of the others you looked we at? We did. We've looked at a number of them. And we continue to look at businesses. Uh, we we're looking at a couple of businesses together. I have a partnership with Apollo, and we've looked at, we looked at a couple of things with those guys. But this will be a family business primarily for, for Evan and Darren and the management team. Look at the brands. I mean, they go back to, in the case of Stroh's, 1755. Uh, Paps, 1848. These were the biggest brands back 20, 30 years ago, 50 years ago. Brands, that's the key word, Absolutely. because Miller Coors is going to handle the manufacturing. You mentioned Paps, a brand that's had a nice turnaround, especially with yes. the college crowd. It only has a small piece of the overall market. So what is the first thing you're going to do to try and build on the momentum? Well, keep in mind, for the past four years, it's been one of the fastest growing brands in the country. A friend of mine who sent a letter to congratulate me on the deal, sent me a quote from his son who's at Harvard. He said, Dad, in Cambridge, perhaps, is a cult beer. I hear that on Wall Street. I hear that in Austin and at the university. So it's the fastest growing brand. The important thing is to nurture that trend. Do not alienate that wonderful consumer consumer, loyal consumer to it. And what about some of these other brands like Old Milwaukee or Cole 45 or Schlitz? How do you sell more Schlitz? Well, you know, each one of them has a story. Lone Star, this tremendous opportunity to double and triple that brand. It's growing nicely, but we think there's a doubling opportunity. Rainier up in the Northwest, again, it's a brand that is a very local. It's a very regional. We want to augment that significantly. In the case of Colt 45, it had a great demographic many years ago with Billy D. Williams. There are several people that, uh, that are major celebrities today that want to be very much part of that reinvention of that brand. Folks like Jamie Foxx have indicated a desire to, to be helpful. People like um, Snoop Dogg, uh, they, they feel that they can be part of the story. We haven't uh, finalized discussions with them because we're just, we're just completing this deal. But people yearn to go back to some of our heritage. And with his sons involved, Metropolis plans to keep this business in the family for at least 20 years and look for Metropolis to buy more beer brands down the road. John, I liked how he name-checked uh, Snoop Dogg. <laughs> this uh, Pabst deal has been in the works for a while, right? Right. So the seller is a charitable trust. There were restrictions on it continuing to own this business. So that sparked a bit of a private equity bidding war, which has been taking place for several months. And uh, here today, we're breaking the news that uh, Metropolis winning that prize. Back to you. All right. Well, we'll drink to that, right, Margaret? <laughs> it is. I, I like that he was considering beer and models as two options there, <laughs> a modeling agency. We um, talked about frat boys earlier. Right up that alley. <laughs>